Our God is good, our God is kind, whose grace is great and mercy sure, and the whole race of humankind. God's truth from age to age endured. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is Night Prayer for Friday, August the 9th. It's the 11th week after Pentecost and week 5 in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 92, Acts chapter 19, verse 21 to 41. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant you forgiveness of all your sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. It is a good thing to give thanks to our God. Alleluia. Psalm 92. Alleluia. It is a good thing to give thanks to our God and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to show forth your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night upon an instrument of ten strings, and upon the psaltery, upon the harp with a solemn sound, for you have made me glad through your work. I will triumph in the works of your hands. O oh, beloved, how great are your works, and your thoughts are very deep. A brute knows not, and neither does a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity flourish, they shall be destroyed forever, but you are most high forevermore. For your enemies shall perish, all evildoers shall be scattered. But my horn you exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. My eyes shall see my desires worked on my enemies, and my ears shall hear of the doom of the wicked that rise against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. They shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in your house shall flourish in your courts, O God. They shall bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. To show that you are upright, you are my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. It is a good thing to give thanks to our God. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 19, beginning at verse 21. Now, after these things had been accomplished, Paul resolved in the spirit to go through Macedonia and Acacia, and then to go on to Jerusalem. He said, after I have gone there, I must also see Rome. And so he sent two of his helpers, Timothy and Erastus, to Macedonia, while he himself stayed for some time longer in Asia. About that time, a little, no little disturbance broke out concerning the way. A man named Demetrius, a silversmith, who made silver shrines of Artemis, brought no little business to the artisans. These he gathered together with the workers of the same trade and said, Men, you know that we get our wealth from this business. You also see and hear that not only in Ephesus, but in almost the whole of Asia, 
this Paul has persuaded and drawn away a considerable number of people by saying that gods made with hands are not gods. And there is danger not only that this trade of ours may come into disrepute, but also that the temple of the great goddess Artemis will be scorned, and she will be deprived of her majesty that brought all Asia and the world to worship her. When they heard this, they were enraged and shouted, Great is Artemis of the Ephesians. The city was filled with the confusion. And people rushed together to the theater, dragging with them Gaius and Aristarchus, Macedonians who were Paul's travel companions. Paul wished to go into the crowd, but the disciples would not let him. Even some officials of the province of Asia, who were friendly to him, sent him a message urging him not to venture into the theater. Meanwhile, some were shouting one thing, some another, for the assembly was in confusion, and most of them did not know why they had come together. Some of the crowd gave instruction to Alexander, whom the Jews had pushed forward, and Alexander motioned for silence and tried to make a defense before the people. But when they recognized that he was a Jew, for about two hours all of them shouted in unison, Great is Artemis of the Ephesians. But when the town clerk had quieted the crowd, he said, Citizens of Ephesus, who is there that does not know that the city of the Ephesians is the temple keeper of the great Artemis, and of the statue that fell from heaven? Since these things cannot be denied, you ought to be quiet and do nothing rash. You have brought these men here who are neither temple robbers nor blasphemers of our goddess. If therefore Demetrius and the artisans with him have a complaint against anyone, the courts are open, and there are proconsuls. Let them bring charges there against one another. If there is anything further, you want to know, it must be settled in the regular assembly. For we are in danger of being charged with rioting today, since there is no cause that we can give to justify this commotion. And when he had said this, he dismissed the assembly. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Dear God, we triumph in the works of your hands and celebrate. For you are the rock of truth and justice and we exalt you morning, noon, and night. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced, alleluia. And the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever, amen. Alleluia.